Let's start with Amazon hitting $1,000 a share. Well, look, I mean, I think that these are things that people are going to say, well, wait a second, uh, enough is enough. This has happened many times when Amazon hit 500, I remember it. Uh, I will say that um, Amazon split. Here's the key thing about Amazon. Uh, it has tremendous earnings momentum. So what happens is, is that people gravitate to what can do well at a period when it looks like Washington is deadlocked, at a period when it looks like the GDP is not growing, mm -hmm. and Amazon is growing in, in spite of that. So you can see the money going toward Amazon, a couple of the top NASDAQ stocks. Uh, it's significant from the point of view that there'll be people who say, enough is enough, I'm not one of them. All right, and Actual Earths Plus holding Alphabet is flirting with 1,000. Yeah, now, Alphabet, I think that is people starting to recognize that Waymo uh, is for real. There was an evaluation of $70 billion for Waymo. Waymo is the self-driving car that is well in the lead. We do not have numbers uh, for HAL engagement, which is the key fact if you go to the de Department of, just Google California Department of Motor, Motor Vehicles, uh, driverless cars, or engagement and disengagement, and you will see where Waymo is and why people are so excited about Waymo. Don't forget that Mark Fields lost his job in part because he had fallen behind uh, at Ford. Uh, that's one another reason why you're going to see a lot of people partner with Waymo. I happen to think that Search is doing well, but again, there is a surge of money into the top 10 of NASDAQ. And I'm not overlooking that as being something that is worrisome if it continues, if only because it reminds us of other eras where we just had about 50 stocks doing well, the nifty 50. Bruce Kamich is, uh, and I were talking about this, Bruce Kamich is uh, acutely aware. He's a fabulous technician. Be, just be careful. It's the beginning of what I would say is too much of a bifurcated market. But I'm going to be working on this because there are other stocks that are doing well. But it's just something to keep an eye on when you have Amazon and Alphabet just continually going up along with NVIDIA and a couple of other names.